Ajax talent from Jamaica. Didn't beat Jerome. Uh, didn't beat Blake. The 2023 track season now started just as how it ended in 2022. And what I'm referring to is the performance of the male athletes in Jamaica. The news these days is all about Sherika Jackson, Elaine Thompson and the pocket rocket Shelly and Fraser Price. Well, let's jump back into last season a bit. In 2022, we saw Jamaica mass four males under 10 seconds for the first time since 2017, led by the veteran Yuan Blake. The quartet scored 17 sub-10 times, bringing back memories of the great man Usain Bolt's era. That season, we had Yuan Blake running 9.85, Oblique Civil 9.86, and Akeem Blake registered a 9.96, and Devante Barnett 9.99 seconds. One of the major achievements, however, in the 2022 track season was a fourth place finish in Eugene by Oblique Civil in the World Championships. In my humble opinion, I think that those performances signal the resumption of male sprinting back in Jamaica. Forward to 2023, Oblique Civil is now being coached by the great man's Usain Bolt's coach, the magician Glenn Mills. Mr. Glenn Mills recently told the press that he thinks that Seville will be the next great 100 meter male sprinter Jamaica have produced. He also reiterated the fact that there is no pressure being placed on Oblique Civil at this time. Oblique always looked promising but have been plagued with injuries in the past. He has yet to grace the track in 2023 but we all know that Glenn Mills is a smart and intelligent coach. One may even go as far as saying he's a great tactician. The summary of my thought about Oblique Civil is that he will rise to the pinnacle of Jamaica's 100 and 200 meter sprints. He will lead the other youngsters like himself into the arena of stardom and glory of male sprinting again, ultimately rekindling the fire of what it means for the island of Jamaica with over 2.3 million people to dominate. Bob Marley once sing a song and it says, One love, one heart, let's get together and feel all right. The Jamaican people will smile again. The Jamaican people will have something to cheer for when these youngsters hit the track and start producing scintillating wonderful times. Keep that dialogue to Sports Circle 345.